Welcome to a journey that might just change the way you see everything. Today we're diving deep into the red pill philosophy. It's all about understanding the deeper truths behind our social interactions, especially between men and women. It's about peeling back layers of society's expectations to find what's real. Imagine realizing that much of what you've been told about success, relationships and happiness is only half the story. That's what the red pill is about, seeing the full picture, even when it's uncomfortable. But it's also about growth, improvement, and making the most out of this life. So stick around and let's explore this together. I promise it's going to be a real eye-opener. The red pill is like waking up to a new reality. It's borrowed from the matrix, a choice between the bliss of ignorance or the sometimes painful truth of reality. Choosing the red pill means accepting that what you've been told about men, women, and society might not be the whole truth. It's realizing that as a guy, society expects a lot from you, and sometimes it feels like you're set up to fail. But it's not about pointing fingers or playing the blame game. Instead, it's about taking control of your narrative. It's understanding that, yes, the dating scene is complex, and yes, relationships can be challenging, but there's more to it than just men versus women. It's about recognizing our individual journeys and responsibilities. The red pill teaches that improvement starts with oneself, not by changing others. It's a call to look inward, to question, and to strive for personal excellence. And through this understanding, we start to see relationships, work, and society in a new light, one that's more honest and grounded in reality. Let's address the elephant in the room. The red pill is often seen as anti-woman. But that's a misconception. It's really about understanding and navigating the complexities of modern relationships. It's about recognizing that both men and women have their struggles and victories. The red pill doesn't teach hatred or disrespect. Instead, it encourages a deeper understanding of human nature. It acknowledges that societal expectations have placed undue pressure on both genders. For men, it's often about being the provider or protector, roles that can be both rewarding and incredibly stressful. For women, society has its own set of expectations, which can be equally confining. The red pill philosophy encourages men to see beyond these stereotypes, to build relationships based on mutual respect and understanding. It's about fostering connections that go deeper than surface level expectations. And it's about finding balance where both men and women can be their authentic selves. So, no, the red pill isn't about promoting negativity towards women. It's about challenging societal norms to foster healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Central to the red pill philosophy is the idea of self-improvement. But what does that really mean? It's about more than just hitting the gym or dressing better, although those can be parts of it. It's about becoming the best version of yourself inside and out. It's about cultivating a strong mind, a compassionate heart, and a resilient spirit. Self-improvement means setting goals and achieving them, whether they're related to your career, your personal life, or your health. It's about learning new skills, expanding your horizons, and challenging yourself to grow. But it's also about emotional intelligence, understanding your feelings, managing stress, and developing empathy for others. The red pill teaches that a man's worth isn't just in what he can provide materially, but in his character, his integrity, and his ability to contribute positively to the lives of those around him. It's a holistic approach, one that recognizes the multifaceted nature of being a man in today's world. And it's a lifelong journey with no real endpoint, just continuous growth and improvement. So when we talk about self-improvement in the context of the red pill, it's about striving to be a well-rounded, grounded, and genuinely confident person. Someone who others respect not just for what he has, but for who he is. 
Relationships are a huge part of the red pill philosophy. It's not about winning or losing in love. No, it's about understanding. It's realizing that good relationships aren't about power or control, but about partnership and respect. It's learning that communication isn't just about talking, but listening, really listening to what the other person is saying. The red pill pushes us to look past our own egos, to see the value in compromise, and to understand that vulnerability isn't a weakness, but a strength. It teaches that true attraction comes from more than just physical appearance. It comes from mutual respect, shared goals, and genuine connection. And it reminds us that while society often sells us an idealized version of love, the real thing is much more about hard work, understanding, and growth. But remember, it's also about joy, laughter, and shared moments. It's about building something that, though not perfect, is real and fulfilling. Embarking on this red pill journey, it's no walk in the park. You'll be forced to confront some uncomfortable truths about the world, about women, and, most importantly, about yourself. You might find out that some of the beliefs you've held on to tightly are actually holding you back. This realization can be a tough pill to swallow, leading to anger or frustration. But here's where the real work begins. It's not about dwelling in that anger, but using it as a springboard for change. It's about turning inward, asking hard questions, and being honest with the answers you find. This part of the journey is about breaking down to build back up, stronger, wiser, and more in tune with who you truly are. And yes, it can be a lonely path at times. You might feel misunderstood by friends or family. But remember, this journey is about finding your truth, your path, and ultimately, a deeper sense of peace and fulfillment. If you're thinking of starting this journey, know this, it's all in or nothing. Half measures won't cut it. Taking the first steps and then turning back leaves you in a no-man's land of sorts. You've seen behind the curtain, but you haven't walked through to the other side. It's like being armed with pieces of a map, but not the whole thing. The key is perseverance. It's about pushing through the discomfort, the doubt, and the setbacks. And it's not just a mental or emotional journey. It's physical, too. It's taking care of your body, your mind, and your spirit. It's about setting goals and reaching them, about falling down and getting back up stronger each time. This journey molds you into a person of depth, resilience, and integrity. It shows you that true strength comes from within and that the most important approval is your own. So what's waiting for you at the end of this red pill path? It's not a pot of gold or a secret society of enlightened beings. It's something much more profound. It's a new way of seeing and being in the world. It's relationships that are based on truth, respect, and genuine connection. It's a sense of fulfillment, not from external accolades, but from an internal knowing that you're living your life authentically and purposefully. It's the peace that comes from understanding the complexity of human nature and embracing it. And it's the joy of building a life that's true to who you are, surrounded by people who see and appreciate the real you. This journey doesn't have a final destination. It's an ongoing process of learning, growing, and becoming. But it promises something invaluable. A life lived with eyes wide open, a heart full of courage, and a spirit unbound. We've covered a lot of ground today, and I hope it sparked some curiosity, maybe even inspired you to learn more about the red pill philosophy. Remember, this journey is deeply personal and unique to everyone who embarks on it. It's about questioning, challenging, and ultimately understanding. Whether you choose to explore further or not, know that seeking truth, fostering genuine connections, and striving for personal growth are pursuits that can enrich anyone's life. Thank you for joining me on this exploration. Here's to your journey, wherever it may lead. Stay curious, stay open, and always strive to be the best version of yourself.